Hello, sports gamers, and welcome to another edition of the ECL Elite Spring Season. My name is Sin, joined here today by Endo Mills in the color booth, and we got some exciting matchups for you in this one. HV71 tanking on Conquer Gaming, and then a little bit later, Stargazing taking on Yippie Voskala here. And this is two teams in Conquer and HV71, which are kind of right on the cusp, you know, in the playoff position right now, but would definitely like to get into that position. Endo, how are you feeling today back in the booth here for ECL? It feels great. Uh, it feels like I'm a little back home now a little bit. Uh, I miss hanging out in the booth with you guys, especially you, Sin. It's been a few weeks since I've seen you. Um, glad to be here. Can't wait to get to some games. And I'm excited to see these two teams basically battle it out tonight on the virtual ice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the five and six seed currently in the current standings as we have it. And we'll get you a look at some of the latest results that have been happening across the ECL elite uh, throughout the past couple of weeks as we are fast approaching uh, sort of the, the midway point in the season. We'll see that when we show the standings after this. But some standouts here. Roots Gaming taking a game off of Forlunda which is they were the only undefeated team left up until well around this point in the season. No longer as Roots Gaming did indeed take a game off of them in regulation. So that's a big two points for Roots Gaming. Stargazing, who we're about to see here, split the series with ZSC and the Fallon Coal Miners continue to have a great, great start to the season, taking three out of four points off of Goons right here. And I mean, this has just been... Uh, an insane start to the season. A lot of weird stuff has been happening. A lot of teams in positions we didn't necessarily think that they would be in. And I guess we'll uh, give you a look at the standings right now as well to sort of emphasize that. As you see, Hred's at the top. Goons right now with all those games played, they're almost at their midway point in the season with 14 played. But, I mean, still up there in the points for Linda just below them. But the Coal Miners, Conquer, HV71, ZSC, Yippie Voskala even. Teams that could be in the playoffs, but we maybe didn't expect to have that seating right there. And a, a team like Fediestad all the way down on that right-hand side of the bracket. And Endo, I mean, I know maybe you haven't been keeping up as much. Or I've well, we've seen you in chat quite a bit. So, I mean, what are some of the things that stand out for you here in these standings? Uh, so far, the way I see it and the way I look at it right now is someone who's kind of been chipping in here and there watching some of the games. Uh, it's It's been a weird start, as we've already discussed. I think uh, one thing that's key is like teams are really battling it out and you never know what's going to happen until the midway point and where teams kind of either start picking up steam or to start falling off a little bit. And this is kind of like the key make it or break it point. We usually say usually around the end is when people pick up points and games get super crucial. But you have a good start, uh, you're, you're kind of set for the middle. But if you have a bad middle, you can still keep it up as well going to the final uh, few games. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, points are exceptionally important pretty much at any point. And again, there's always something to play for. And this is a, you know, a lot of the teams, pretty large games play discrepancy. I mean, we have as high as 14 games played and as low as six here in this spring season with the way the scheduling has worked out. So, you know, obviously these two teams right here, Conquer and HV71, a heck of a lot to play for. They both want to get in uh, to the playoffs here. And as we take a look at that team matchup between the pair of them, you can see uh, the stats for each of these teams uh, kind of telling a similar story in some ways, but different in others. Definitely couldn't agree more. You got more goals for in terms of conquer. As goals against are both usually the same right there. Uh, you can tell the goaltending there is definitely really, really solid as well with the defensive play. Uh, but you can also see that power plays plus uh, on the favor for conquer. Uh, you can tell that they definitely have a bigger power play and it may be more key in their aspect because that's a pretty big differential basically almost double the amount of power play uh percentage that they have uh, as opposed to hv71 absolutely if it does become a special teams war you have to kind of look at conquer right now as the favorite so let's take a look at the matchups uh or yeah the lineups excuse me for these two teams going into things on the side of hv71 you have antonio manon Demski and Madaliska as the front three. Kauto and Rubitas on the back end with Kofa Linen between the pipes here and for Conquer. Vire, Ginu, and Yerex on the front end. Katanarski and Yalkin on the back end. And Monkey Head between the pipes here. And we saw uh, last our last broadcast, I believe, we saw HV71 take those two games off of Feristad on the back of Antonio Manon and We'll have to see if he can uh, have another strong performance as he did on the offensive side of things. But we'll take a look now at the head-to-head -head battles, as we so often do. Starting off with the centers here, Gino, 
taking on Dembski here. And you can see even with less games played, Ginu has the points advantage here, Endo. Yeah, I can definitely see that he's been uh, key when their team ne needs them, definitely for sure. Uh, Face-off percentage are mostly the same itself that way. Uh, it seems like a lot of the, the face-off sentiments in this league so far have been maybe 50-50 as kind of expected with a face-off draw. You kind of, one to one person's got to win one, one team's got to lose a draw. So it seems very even on that regard. Uh, yeah. All right. And I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, sometimes it comes down to those key draws in the offensive and defensive zones here. We'll move over now to the battle of the wingers here where you'll see uh, just how much Antonio has really uh, put on since then. HV71 got off to a slow start this season offensively here, but in this last week or so, they've begun to pick it up. Antonio, man, and I believe the only one on this team above point per game here with that 13 points, and on the side of Conquer, a little bit more offensive production out of them. Seems to be more of a well-rounded offense in terms of over there with Conquer, but HV71, it seems to be that uh, Antonio Manon has been picking it up there. You said he's one of the only players on the team who was a point per game. Uh, hopefully we'll see Metalizka pick it up a little bit as well too. get some points in there because you don't want to be behind on the score sheet on your team. That's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And he started off so good, was leading his team in goals up until the last broadcast when Antonio Manon had five in two games and he just uh, jumped out to the lead and will be rocking that gold helmet for his team. So we'll move on to the back end now into the defensive pairings. And this is where, again, kind of gets interesting. You can see a lot more production on the side of Conquer here. But that being said, you know, HV71's defense throughout the year has been mostly solid. Yeah, you can definitely tell right there with the more blocked shots in favor for HV71 as opposed to Conquer itself right there. Seems like uh, HV71 runs a very offense focused def uh, type of play and. Very little points been coming from the defense, but at the same time, you don't have to put up points on defense to be productive and help out your team. Yeah, absolutely. You know, being able to shut things down, prevent goals from happening, just as important for putting that puck in the back end. And that's really what it has come down to a lot of times for HV71, really helping out their goaltenders. And we'll take a look at the head-to-head uh, -head matchup now for the goaltenders here. And you'll see, you know, a little bit of a discrepancy between the stats here, even though the records are quite different, just kind of goes to show you how, you know, how well HV71 has defended and, you know, call for line and making the saves when he needs to. Could not agree more. Bigger save percentage over there. Big user over there with Kofalainen. And Monkey Head still great there with two shutouts coming out through with a 5 2 3 record. Uh, makes you really tell right there who has a better GAA in terms of Coffee Line. But, and again, you never know. A team could score, a team could not score. Uh, it all depends on what happens on the ice when puck drop hits. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, to touch on that, we've seen Mon Monkey Head, you know, have some really tremendous games. We talk about that 80% save percent, you know, what you want to get to kind of the baseline for the goaltenders here in the elite division. He's not quite there yet, but he's just, you know, a good performance or two away. And against a team, you know, this season who has historically at least ha had trouble scoring, they've seemed to open it up here. You never know if they can kind of, if you can shut them down, all of a sudden your stats are right where they want. But the most important stat that we always talk about is the one that comes into the W column here, and that's definitely what Monkey Head would prefer to get here. So we're just waiting on the word that these uh, teams have matched up here, and uh, we'll be able to uh, throw to that in uh, just a little bit. But um, I wonder if do we have any uh, – kind of asking a question for the production. Do we have a top 10 graphic uh, quite ready yet so we can see some of the leaders? Well, we do not have that quite ready, so – I apologize there, chat, led you on a little bit uh, too much with that. But, you know, just kind of uh, thinking about the implications of this matchup here. You know, both these teams uh, with five wins apiece, both of them vying for the playoffs. HF71, a team who was in a relegation position last season. I think Conquer was either just on the edge or maybe even had to uh, had to play one of those relegation matches. Both of them sitting right now in a playoff position kind of just goes to show you how much can change from season to season sometimes with lineup changes and other times within the case of conquer really bringing in guys who really haven't seen the ecl elite quite yet could not agree more you never know what happens when you start a new season you never know what could happen in the beginning in the middle of the end but there are some teams as well we've mentioned before who have some games on hand where some teams have played 10 12 some teams have played eight i believe iq has eight games right now on the hand because of the scheduling and how it works uh, we'll definitely have to see how it goes down the line. We'll definitely see, obviously, today with these two games that we have uh, coming up for us today on Sports Gamer GG, which is absolutely amazing to watch and amazing to cast here with you, Sin. And 
everyone else. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, it's it's big here. You know, both these teams uh, technically, you know, hovering around that kind of 500 mark, but uh, a couple more extra games played for HV71. Um, but we are matched up now, and as you can see here, the meta builds uh, kind of going all the way around. Playmakers and puck moving defensemen. It's very uh, puck possession heavy style as opposed to NA, which is a lot more speed down the wings and you know quicker attacks and things like that. But uh, you know we we have a lot of those outlier builds as well, and it's it can get. I'm not going to say like it sticks to the meta constantly, but we see that constantly evolve, you know, through from season to season, from year to year. And even as the season goes on here, you see a lot more things kind of open up and see on your screen now what these uh, teams are playing for here. 6,000 euro in the spring season if you win that championship. But if a treads win that championship, they automatically get that 10,000 euro for sweeping the winter and spring championship. So all these teams vying to knock a treads off of that plateau here as we get ready for puck drop here. Endo, what do you think is going to set the tone here in this game between these two, who are obviously definitely hoping to stay in these playoff positions? Well, you obviously want to start with an early goal, get the get the blood pumping, the adrenaline running when you're using your uh, using the sticks over there. But you never know what could happen. It could be uh, a little bounce, could be good play, passing, good communication. Anything can happen, and I'm glad I get the watches right here coming up right through. Absolutely. Puck drop just moments away. HV71, Conquer Gaming, a two-game home-and-home set between these teams who currently right now find themselves in a playoff position. And a little bit later, we'll be seeing Stargazing taking on Yippie Voskal. And here we go. Puck drop play underway. Conquer in the red and HV71 in the white. A quick shot on by Kotanarski. Talk about trying to set that tone early. Another in tight chance by Vire there. Early looks for Conquer Gaming here as they try to get the goal scoring off quickly here. And counterattack from HV71 leading to an offside. Big pressure right there. Get the puck right in front. Dump it in front. Uh, goalies are a little slow with rebounds this game, so get it in front. Try to chip it in. Uh, one team front. Absolutely. We've seen a lot of, uh, at times, teams just vying to uh, get the pucks and bodies to the net. And you can see sort of why right there. It works as a quick shot on by Yerex. On the doorstep, sails just wide here, and HG71 trying to get things settled here, and a couple errant passes, they just seemingly cannot settle the puck here, as Conker coming back in on the counterattack. Good poke at the line by Kauto, trying to get that oh, puck yeah. out, and eventually does. Passed over, and back as Conker has it momentarily kept in by HV71. Antonio with the puck now. Sent back to Kauto. Down on the corner boards, knocked loose. Conker looking to work it out right there. Got an Arsky pace for his troubles with a massive collision. And the centerman Ginu trying to chase down the puck, but HV71 back in possession now. DDD pass, and again. Zerubitas moves it up to Dembski. Bit of a collision in the neutral zone here. Good, uh, good hold on the line by Conker, but HV71 still have possession. Pass out front for Antonio. Looking for Dembski. Shot from the point. No deflection and turned aside by Monkeyhead. Madaliska got a free gift right there as uh, looked like Vitter was trying to go around the end boards and misread that situation. Madaliska shot on and decide there by Monkeyhead. Dembski now sent over. Yelkin has it. Begins to break that one out. Kadanarski up to Vire. But he doesn't get too much farther. Rubitus over to Kauto. HV71 now seeming to tilt the scales back in their favor after an early flurry by Conker. They're looking to settle themselves with the blue line hold right now from Conker. Looking very strong. Here they come. Two on one developing. Yerax with the puck. Gets poked off. Great recovery from Rubitus there. Not allowing that two on one to develop. That's big defensive play. Now Yelkin and Kadanarski. Get the dump and chase, but someone was offside. I'll have to back off. I believe it was Yerax. And free possession. Well, in return as well. Conquer back in possession. Great defensive play by Dembski. Looking to work that one out. Both these two teams very evenly matched, as you can see illustrated right now by the back and forth play. Gaining the line now is Conquer. Looking for a shot. That was Ginu right there. Just deflected off. Yalkin pinching in. Rubitas has it, moving it out to Antonio. With speed down the left wing side, gains the line. Dembski in support. 
Sends all the way around. That looks like it'll clear the zone there. Rubitus couldn't quite keep it in. Antonio gains the line with Rubitus pinching. Back to Madaliska. Down low to Antonio. Right out front. Dembski couldn't connect with it. Gauto down low to Antonio. Great stick move. Gets the shot away, but hits his teammate, Madaliska. Conker can't get the puck out. Dembski shot on from distance. Puck in between the legs. Monkey head falls back and covers it. Oh, I was trying to jump in there, but there's so much action happening right now. Very little mistakes from both teams so far. Whatever mistakes there have been, there's been a lot of quick recovery from both sides. H-271 looking very, very confident right now. And the faceoff is well passed over. Kauto keeps it in, and Dembski has it. All the way around for Rubitus and back down low. Antonio fighting off Kotonarski, and there will be a penalty coming up. HV71 will head to the power play. Shot from distance, touched up. And that will lead to a power play. Someone going to the box for Conker. Didn't exactly see where it is. Oh, we're going to have it right there. Just a little extra hold accidentally right there. I think I've done that a few times in both the game and in, in actual beer league itself. Never fun to get a call like that against you when uh, something just kind of happens like that. Now HV71 will go on that power play. Let's see if they can get their power play percentage up right here. Yeah, haven't had too good of a start on the power play conquer pretty good penalty killing team but it just takes one sometimes and what an opening goal that would be but an early good clear here from conquer as time ticking away in this first period gain the line right now see if they can get this set up with the time they have remaining madaliska just trying to get his way towards the middle there through traffic and that puck will be cleared out as we'll see them work their way back up the ice. Less than 10 seconds remaining. One more rush play. Dembski has it. Trying to feed Antonio down low. Not enough heat on that pass. And that will lead us to the end of the first period. A good penalty kill so far for Conquer Gaming. And we still have a 0-0 scoreline. As you can tell right there, the earlier shot right there. First of the game. Big save there by Coffin And keeping that team in there. Keeping it 0-0. So far, it's been a very, very even game in terms of gameplay so far. Not a lot of chances on both sides, but also a lot of defensive play in the same remark as well. It's been a very interesting game so far, and it's going to be, personally, I think it's going to be the first team that makes the biggest mistake in the beginning that will end up having it go through in the other team's favor. Yeah, absolutely. It has been uh, few and far between, despite the immense amount of action. As you said, not a whole lot of shots quite yet, at least registered, and uh, it was a great start for Conker, but HV71 really began to sort of push back as that was kind of the best chance right there. Just a trickler off of the goaltender and almost uh, threw into the back of the net. Fortunately, he got that animation to fall back on the puck or that could have easily been the difference maker here. So Conker still has a bit of uh, leftover time to kill here, but with the neutral zone draw, it should be a bit easier to kill this off. But possession in favor of HV71 and they gain the line. Rubita sends it over to no one, and his defensive partner somehow gets it. Kauto. Down low to Antonio. Shot on goal! Antonio Manin picks the short side right there on the power play. HV71 take advantage of the leftover time and take the lead in this one. One to nothing. And that right there is the reason why Antonio Manon has that gold helmet on his as the Dignified for the top scorer on his team. An absolute snipe right there. Top cheese. And we got a 1-0 game right there. Have uh, HV71. Excuse me. Taking it up. And just an exceptional bit of uh, taking advantage of the time that they had left. Rubitus, excellent patience getting it into the zone and letting that play sort of set up and... Just a great, great look from Antonio, who's always kind of been more of a pass-first player to take that shot right there and capitalizes on it. But Conker looking for a quick response here. Vire, surrounded by three white jerseys, and it's as far as he gets with it. Kauto moves it up to Antonio now. Into the zone, pressure. Yalkin moves it around, and Yerex has it now. Interesting pass back to a centerman. That leads to a turnover. Madaliska has Antonio with him, tries between the legs. Dembski looking for a shot, almost on the rebound. Rubitus picks it up. Over to Kauto, he keeps it in, Antonio has it. Antonio looking for, maybe for that short side once again. Madaliska from behind the net turns it over. Ginu leading the rush now, and dumped in by Yedex. Taken by Rubitus, good four check coming out from Viede, as well as the sentiment Ginu, and they get possession. Viede now, and Yedex battling in the corner. Sent down low, poked further. 
And loose puck flurry here. And finally, HG71 get it out. Antonio gains the line. Beautiful sauce to the middle for Dembski. He's in possession now. Y'all can be able to work it out. Briefly as Conquer forced to reset here. Approaching the midway point here of this second period. HV71 once again in possession. Low shot from Dembski. Rebound. Rebound twice. And Monkey Head keeping it out both times right there. HV71 looking to double up their lead here as that early great start from Conquer has seemingly evaporated. And they're struggling to get some momentum. Maybe it'll change right there. A massive collision. Antonio goes down, but... Oh, and that'll be actually a power play for Conquer here. I didn't quite see what it was, but Kauto will be headed to the box. Uh, I think it looked like an accidental poke right there uh, by Kauto. It happens. Uh, so far right now, you just got to get back in there. You had your you had your power play goal. Let's see how well you can do on the penalty kill. Uh, obviously, we saw the stats before and Conquer Gaming had double the percentage going into this game. So let's see if they can capitalize early and quickly. It's definitely what they're going to want to do here for this difference maker is Ginu helps get that set up and awkward pass off the boards there from Yalkin, but Conker for the right now, keep it in. Kadonarski now with the puck, settles it down, looking to set this up. Yalkin, down low to Ginu, looking for a shot, hesitated just a little bit, and Rubitus knocks it off his skate, or a stick, excuse me, Madalaiska trying to send that one out, but right in the traffic here, shot on, rebound, and covered up. By Kofel line, and that could have spelled trouble right there. He didn't get any any air under that puck and almost turned it over. Yeah, big play right there by Kofel line, and big save. Uh, bigger opportunity there for him, Conquer, getting their shots whenever they can. So far, so good. Keep that in right there. Good play. Absolutely. Yalkin holds that on the boards there, and Kotonarski got caught swinging a bit early for that one timer. Pass over to left wing, a scores! Vire ties the game. Two power plays, two goals, one apiece for either side. And Vire catches Kofa line and sliding right there. We've got a tie game. Good way to hold on to there. Just release a little bit early there. Good hold there by the defenseman. Just to keep it up there. Uh, put a little suspense on that little shot right there. A little bit of a stutter step, as I like to call it, the tie of the game right here. So far, two goals apiece on both power plays. Interesting game so far. Yeah, we said the special teams battle, uh, if it does come into play, you think Conker has the advantage, but right now it is a tie game due to the special teams battle. Shot from distance, Rubitus. Yalkin will take that. Look to move this out now. Kadonarski sends it back to his defensive partner. And HV71 back in possession, gaining the line. Great work on the blue one by Rubitus, but he's got to be careful. Two men pressuring with patience, works it down to Dembski. Dembski now has no one out in the middle. Everyone was behind the net there, and everyone was covered. Conker now with the puck, trying to send that one down low to the pinching defenseman, Kadonarski, but picked off by Rubitas. Sent all the way over for Kauto, who gets it in. Just momentarily, those now Conker back in possession. Oh, what a pass. And here comes Conker looking for that. What a pass indeed right there. Couldn't quite get the shot opportunity out of it, but you can see them trying to stretch that game out, trying to poke some holes in this uh, HV71 defense, which has been pretty solid so far. Madaliska takes a ripper, and it gets blocked. Conquer now, beautiful stick lift coming out from Viede. Viede with the shot, looking for that short side, but either went higher, hit off that blocker a little bit. Antonia now trying to pass that one up, but well read. And Viede picks it off. Yedex now gains the line. Conquer getting some pushback here. Yedex trying to weave his way through the slot. Yalkin down low with him on the pinch. Back up top and out of the zone right there. Zvide didn't quite read the angle. Seconds remaining here in the second. One more chance perhaps for Conker. They kind of dump it on net and look for a quick four check. And Kauto will just be uh, pleased to kill the play behind the net. So we enter this period in the same, uh, you know, with a tie. The same way we kind of started this game. And now it's one to one here off the backs of some great special teams play from both of these teams. Could not agree more. Right there, you see Antonio Madden put that puck in the back of the net, short side there. And you get another shot here. The other goal that happened on the other side over here as well from Vire. So far, so good. Like we said, if special teams come into effect, it would definitely be a big outcome of the game considering where they are uh, percentage-wise. And we'll take another look back right here at the quick little goal here. Quick pass. Top cheese. Wow. 
the the margin for error on that shot right there is absolutely amazing for a goaltender if you're anywhere near that post you usually have it but sometimes it slips right by yeah and both goals kind of scored from similar locations although similar uh different completely different locations in the net right there as you can see that was a vide shooting for that far side probably hoping for the one-time animation but at the end of the day he did not need it there as colfa line was sliding back uh perhaps remembering the first goal scored by his team and trying to guard that short side a bit more and left that far side open but third period of play here between these two teams it's tied at one now so someone's got to try to find that difference maker here and both these teams probably telling themselves to stay out of the box so far it has been an issue for both teams hence why the score is now 1-1 we'll see if there's a little bit more discipline here in the third period a lot more hits and a lot less uh stick and fragments Back to the point now, Rubitas trying to shoot that one on from distance. Damski had a blind backhander on net that just didn't find uh, its way through towards the goaltender, but may have had a chance there. Monkey had was a bit squared up, but that was such a quick rebound. Antonio back in possession, looks for the low shot there. Madaliska now behind the net. Good forecheck coming out from H371. Good patience from Kodinarski, and they work that one out. Yedex now. Sends it over to Ginu, trying to go back to the middle. Had both Yedex and Viede there. The pass just didn't quite connect with him. It was a good sauce, but a little, few too many white jerseys there. Great pass up to Madaliska, who gains the line he. And Dembski fighting for that puck, and they come away with it. Beautiful pass over, but broken up. Yalkin, good positioning there. Kadanarski now in possession. They look to work that one out again. HG71 a bit more aggressive with their forecheck. Now, what a pass what a up. Pass. And shot on right there from Ginu. Can't quite capitalize, but good good pressure now. Conquer on the attack, sending it forward, hoping Dierx is cutting to the net there, but instead it went straight to the stick of Kauto. But the right back in. Conquer now. Answering pressure with more pressure of their own here. Demski pass it up, and here comes Madalaiska, the one touch deke. Well read by Kadanarski, and a simple poke breaks that one up. Getting the line now. And that will lead to an offside here for Conker. 11.33 left in the third. If there's one thing that I've noticed so far is Conker Gaming loves to send those wild up the middle, up the board, sauce passes. And so far it's been working. They've been really creative with their passing. Yeah, trying to stretch that game out before HV71 can really get themselves established to stop that blue line. It's kind of been the case for both of these teams, realizing how good the other ones were at guarding that blue line. A shot from distance blocked in front here. So a lot of different looks coming out from these offenses, but chances seemingly few and far between. Vire sends a backhand, maybe looking for behind the net. And the most unfortunate animation from Kofa line and comes out. And that's going to be the tiebreaker right there. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing right now is I scored an exact same goal like that last night in Beer League. So <laughs> it's almost like it's it's ridiculous. You throw it on net, anything can happen. Right now you get a 2-1 lead for Conquer Gaming. Holy. Yeah, it looks like Kofalainen got that fun I'm going to play the puck animation. And uh, it just kind of went right past him there. So... HV71 now going to have to try to find some kind of a response and quickly here as they go from having the lead now to down by one. Beautiful pass over and Conker looking to capitalize on some of this momentum that they have right now. Quick trickler maybe had some space there to find its way home. But HV71 now on the counterattack. Kauto shot from distance, bouncing puck in front. Antonio Mana gets a whack at it. Monkey head sliding around a bit in his crease but doesn't pay for it. Kadanarski with a nice shot attempt right there. Blocked once again. HV71 showing why those defensemen have such high blocked shot numbers and continue to block shots in this one. Kauto, great bit of skating there. And a nice pass to Madaliska. Shot on that short side. They're unable to keep that puck in. A beautiful job on that back check by Antonio. Dembski has it. Dembski around the net looking for a wraparound. He would have had space but just didn't quite get far enough. Madaliska now. Good pressure coming out from HV71, but they are running out of time. Antonio gets it poked off the stick, and here comes Yerax. Looking for Ginu right there, who thought that pass was coming as well, and goes way offside, but, you know, time ticking off the clock for Conquer right now. Never a bad thing. Beautiful poke, and here comes HV71. The back check is good. Rubitus gets it, but has to clear the line. 
And they will be offside. 148 remaining here, and the timeout will be called. So far, it's been a great game. Honestly, regardless of the little mishap for that goal right there, what, when I look back at it right now, it looks as if he tried to pass it. Because I remember in a few couple uh, previous iterations of NHL, there was a weird issue if you pass it towards the goalie, like as the opposing player, sometimes it just would just go through. Yeah, the animation on his stick does indeed look like a shot, just had zero speed on it. And the goaltender like tried to just grab the puck and get possession of it, and it just sort of slid in right there. So... Uh, definite unfortunate unfortunate scenario to say the least for HV seventy one here is, I mean that's a quick quick swing as Conker was able to tie it up on the power play and that's the kind of the difference maker goal and you don't like to see that we're getting a kind of a look right there and some of the uh, uh, the inside opportunities here looking for that short side once again you can almost see Monkey Head there almost overplaying it and not a not a bad call after how that first one went in with the shot aim but. There's still time left, just over a minute for HV71. They have an offensive zone faceoff, I believe. So and this is their chance right here to, to, to try to get this one back. You know, bad bounces happen. Bad goals happen. Excuse me, it'll be a neutral zone draws. Uh, forget about the offside there with the double timeout. But all they can do here right now is, is, is to continue to push. They do lose the faceoff here, but Mataliska does help his team get possession momentarily. And Rudy will take that one out. Ginu now has it poked off from behind by Antonio. Less than a minute left now. HV71 need to get that puck into the zone. They need to get possession. They need to get some chances here. Great pass up by Kauto and Antonio has it. Kauto follows up. What a poke by Yerax. Rubitas will be forced to go all the way back and take it. 40 seconds left in the third now. HV71 still looking for this tying goal. Dembski has it. Back to the point to Rubita. Shot on deflection. Bit oh, Antonio almost got possession on the doorstep. Would have had space. Just couldn't get possession. And Monkey Head covers that one up with 29 seconds remaining. Big crucial play right there. I thought that was going to be a quick little dunk in the back of the net right there. What a uh, face-off win as well by Ginu there on the tie-up. And uh, the, yeah, might as well try it again. A floating backhand <laughs> from the corner board. Shot on Kadanarski there. Hungry for that puck, killing time and getting some chances here. About 10 seconds left for HV71. They go get the puck out, and here comes Ginu. All alone, on one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender, backhand, scores! And that will be the dagger. 5.5 seconds left. 3-1 to lead for Conker. HV71 went all out, but simply couldn't get the job done. The defense led to offense for Conker, and a goal on the breakaway. Definitely some big saves ahead of time right there for Kof Line and the three in a row right there. But it was just no match for the breakaway opportunity on the other side right there. As you said, Conquer Gaming takes this one three to one. And HV71 won't even be able to get to uh, the kind of the kind of pity goal there at the end, trying to push for one more, make themselves feel kind of good heading into that second one. That's a rough one to lose if you're HV71 to not even get a point out of it as well when you consider what the game-winning goal looked like. But, you know, just kind of sometimes what it comes down to at the end of the day, a bounce here and there. And that's why you got to try to get those goals early on. You know, they only had that one uh, throughout this entire uh, game. You're not going to win a whole lot of games by just scoring one. So... You know, they're definitely going to want to get that offense going. That was something we kind of touched upon. Can they keep that offensive flurry going? Or if Conker can shut them down, will they have the advantage? And, well, Conker wins this first game. And uh, there's going to have to be a big uh, big response here from HG71 in the second. Definitely could not agree more right here. You can take another look back at the goals of the game so far right there. Quick little snapshot there. And then I believe this is the breakaway goal right at the end of the game right there. Great execution. You can't stop them all. Uh, so far, right now, all they have to do is regroup and reassemble and get ready for the next game. That's the best part about having these back-to-back, -back, head head-to-head games is you get another chance right after to tie up the series or just dominate. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what HV71 are definitely going to be looking to do here as, you know, that one obviously didn't go the way uh, that they would have wanted and We'll even get a look, uh, a little bit more of an in-depth look at some of these plays right here. This was the first goal coming out from Antonio. Just a really good job of 
you know, buying time. Both the defensemen uh, did a great job on these two f- uh, first goals scored by these by just kind of buying time, opening up some space, and for Antonio in that situ- uh, in that case to uh, to get that goal. And same situation here on the flip side. It's Kadanarski there buying time, opens up that space for uh, the shot to come through, and opts to go for that far side there through a lot of traffic, as you can see as well. And well, there's this goal, which uh, we'll just say, yeah, it exists. And uh, it's a goal. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely kind of unfortunate. I'm sure uh, if this is the last time that Kofalainen ever sees that, he'll be absolutely happy. And this breakaway here, as you said, kind of a thing of beauty. Great execution by Gina. Just a quick little dip to that forehand. Goes back to the backhand. You can really see Kofalainen almost expecting it to go forehand. Really cheating to that side, though. And perhaps that's why Ginu sort of went back to that backhand there. But... No, first game of two between these two teams is in the bag. That's a uh, two points for Conquer brings them to six, two, and three on the season. You know, maintaining a pretty solid record here. And unfortunately for HV71, brings them down to an even 500 at five, five, and three here. So we'll be back to set the table for the second game of two between these two teams after a quick word from our sponsors. All right, welcome back here. And we like to thank, of course, our sponsors for making the ECL what it is. Wilhelm, Kovalon, Lakritzi, ST Hockey. Obviously, great people. Um, and I mean, again, ECL Elite wouldn't be what it was without these guys, of course. And wouldn't be what it was without our great production team and all you guys in chat out there actually watching us do this. It's fantastic here. So we'll set the stage uh, for HV71 uh, and Conquer Gaming, the second game of two between the pair after definitely an eventful first game, which started out with Conquer getting some early uh, chances. HV71 really took over from there, got that first goal. And then again, Conquer responded on the power play of their own. And after that, just sort of snowballed uh, between uh, these two teams here. And it seemed the chat prediction as well uh, kind of knew what was up. And uh, they they had El you know, Conquer by a slight edge winning that series. As we're actually getting a more in depth look at uh, some of the builds here, and it's kind of interesting here, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna take a look back and uh, snipe some of the builds so I can try and get a little edge here in the North American scene. Even though they'll probably just blow past me, it's all right. You know, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh, different scenes here. Definitely more of a puck possession, uh, heavy style, which is what you see in the builds there. You know, elite edges as well. A lot of agility and, and things like that. So after this uh, last game between HV71 and Conquer, of course, stick with us as we cover a two-game set between Stargazing and Yippie Voskala, two teams uh, which are, well, I get new this season uh, to the elite. Obviously, Yippie Voskala has a, has a history here in the ECL elite, but it's a complicated history to say the least from being the one seed to get an upset in the first round to then falling further and further down the bracket until they found themselves in pro and then winning the pro championship and finding their way right back in the ECL elite. And they're looking good so far over the course of this season, but Stargazing, you know, not off to too bad of a start either uh, for a team, you know, uh, up, up here in the elite. So we'll have to see what's going to happen here, but Endo, any sort of prediction for the second game between HV71 and Conquer? What do you think HV71 needs to do to sort of respond after that uh, loss? I'm not really sure if there's really much they can do better than what they did. They played very, very, like, very, very well and very, very strong. It was just an unfortunate bounce that happened that caused the second goal to happen in favor for Conquer Gaming. I think if they keep the same gameplay out and just right out the bat, try and get on there and get a goal in the, in the opening maybe like 10 minutes, set the tone, they should be fine. We'll see if they're going to be able to do that here, at least uh, maybe not get off to the start they did in the last game where Conquer really had some of those early advantages. As you said, you never know when one of those goals is going to go in and uh, finding yourself in a hole early would not be good. If you're HV71, you want to try to find that goal first. Dembski in on the attack now. Rubitas circles around on the point, cuts into the middle, looking for a pass and maintains possession. Shot on Antonio, couldn't quite get the shot away as he is corralling that monkey head out of position there. But Antonio on the backhand would have been an off balance shot. Tried to pass it towards the middle there and couldn't connect. And that'll actually be an icing on Conquer. Pretty rare right there with kind of a saucer pass from behind the red line, but defensive zone draw and another chance for HG71 perhaps to capitalize here. Conquer loves their, their sauces. Absolutely. Kauto on the point. Spin pass to himself. Almost gets pushed out of the zone, and Antonio has it now. Rubitus with the puck. Nice dance right there on the blue line, creating some space as Dembski trying to sneak that one in. Good possession here for HV71. Yalkin sends it up. 
Vida to bring this one out. Kadonarski gains the line. Oh, never mind. Beautiful poke. Matalaiska tries to blow past Vida right there, who is covering, but he couldn't do so either. And he'll just chip it out of the zone. Rubitus now in possession for HV71. Matalaiska at it briefly. Antonio goes back to Rubitus on the point. Dodges the, the attacker. And quick pass right there, looking for a short side shot. Now shot, and another attempt right there. Good defense and good shot blocks coming out from Conker. Kauto now with it over to Rubitus, looking for the DDD one time. Kept in by Antonio, HU71. All over Conker right there, hemming him in. Kauto with a shot blocked once again. But Conker up to the task and blocking all these shots. Rubitus keeps it in. Pass over to Kauto, one time opportunity. Looking for a deflection, didn't connect. Dembski now, over to Kauto again. Another shot blocked by Yalkin. Antonio maintains possession. HV71, vying for this first goal. Can't keep it in, however. And here comes the attack of Conker. Stopped at the line, however, and HV71 right back into the offensive zone. Dembski, can't maintain possession, but gets it right back. Bumped and maintaining possession again, just Really fending off all of the attack right there. And pass off the boards from Vire. We've seen that a few times in this game uh, for both of these teams. Kind of trying to bank them off the boards and just kind of going right back to themselves here. Look, opportunity for Conquer goes by the wayside as it hits off a skate. Tons and tons of block shots for both teams early on in this one. But HG71 back in. Pass all the way across. Kalto will have it. To Rubitas. Working on the point and down low to Dembski. And a little of a shot pass on. Antonio has it. Oh my goodness, what a save from Monkey Head. Point blank range. Sat there on the line and he covers it. An in tight chance from Antonio. You can definitely tell HV71 was listening to this broadcast a little bit. They're putting a lot of pressure on there, really putting in through, getting it through. And as you said earlier, earlier right there with the block shots in the favor of Contra Gaming. So far, it's a very interesting game. Anything can happen as they make another quick little pass right through it there. Big save there by Kofalainen. And stick it in there as the wall as he was last game. Yeah, you Excluding the, you know, the accident. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you said we, were, we said we weren't going to talk about it, but yeah, apparently we got to rub it in one more time for you. Yeah, actually, nice uh, player right there trying to go for that far side again as uh, we saw that uh, game tying goal from the last game go in, but... <laughs> Love down by Kofalainen. What a collision right there. Kauto goes flying. I think that was Vire putting the hurt on him. It's HV71 trying to establish their offensive zone attack again. Great job in the neutral zone to turn that one over. Matalaiska has it. Down low to Antonio and back up top. Rubitas. Shot on from uh, the interesting angle right there. Just looking for a rebound. Couldn't quite connect on the secondary opportunity. And Conker looking to move this one out. Up the boards of Yerax. Beautiful pass to Ginu. Looks for the toe drag. Rubitus breaks it up. Another nice poke there on the four check. And Vide will have it. Beautiful bit of else getting across and scores! Wow. What a job by Vire on the four check. Knocking that buck loose. Getting it spinning off the boards and feeding the middle. Yerax cleans it up and conquer up 1-0. What a spin move right there to create some space to make the pass go right across. Area with the with the close quarters right there that just popped that in the back of the net. And Conker got an opportunity right now to go back onto the lead right now with a one nothing lead so far with just under a minute left to go in the first period. Damn. Yeah, big goal from them here at the, the tail end of this period again. And <laughs> Kind of a flip story of the last game where Conker was off to the great early start, but HV71 got that opening goal. This time is HV71. Conker might not be done here. Another tight chance. Yerax looking go two for two here in the last minute of the first and almost gets that. I'm not too sure if that hit the side of the net or Kofa line and got a piece of it. Nonetheless, fortunately for HV71, they keep it just a one goal margin to have to come back to from here. But again, early chances for HV71, but unable to find the back of the net. They had all kinds of zone time, all kinds of shot attempts, a lot of block shots coming out from Conquer as well here. So, I mean, just a great job of Conquer so far for kind of weathering the storm and taking advantage of the opportunity that was presented to them. And really started and <laughs> taken advantage of by Vire. That was an ins We didn't get a quick look at it. I'm not too sure if you saw the time on attack differential there, but that's a about as big, big of a gap as we've ever seen.
Uh, I can't wait to take another look at that because so far with that spin right there, just clean through the legs of both Conquer and of HB71 players. Back of the net right there. I don't think it gets any better than that. Holy jumping. Five minutes and 35 seconds of time on attack for HB71 and Conquer game with the 23 seconds. Like they say, you never know what's going to happen when you go off the ice. You never know when you're going to get opportunities. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah, that, it's just wow. Uh, that differential was was an, is insane. I, I it felt like a lot, but I just didn't realize how much HU seventy one had it in their zone here, and it was just like you said, a quick response, a quick counterattack by Conquer, which led to that goal here. HU seventy one, you can have all the time and attack in the world, you can get some shots, but I think they only had like two or three registered, so you could just see how much uh, Conquer were blocking shots there as they look for a quick counterattack, just put that one on net low. HV71 now, gaining the line. Want to want to try to get a few more shots on? You'd think. On the point now, back to uh, the defenseman. There's kind of hoping, looking for that rebound to pop out more. But Monkey Head controlled it quite well. There's one thing I've definitely noticed with HV71. They've been doing a lot of D to D passes and a lot of D to D movement, and it's very spectacle. It's a very beautiful thing to watch. Absolutely there. Just don't want to become too telegraphed or Vida and Yedex could uh, perhaps uh, intercept those quite. That was a nice player right there. Quick little pass and Antonio getting that shot on the short side. Looking for a rebound once again and HV71 got to feel good about just getting, being able to get pucks on net there. As they were hard pressed to do that which is the amount of shot blocks that were coming through for Conker. So trying to look for more lateral movement, skating and passing to try to open up some of those gaps there. Be able to get more shots on. The neutral zone face off now. One again by Dembski. Pass up to Madalaiska. Doesn't connect here. Conquer. Trying to gain that line. Dembski now pass off the boards. Nowhere to go. But Madalaiska with a great bump. And they'll get possession now in the offensive zone. Pass back. Well read by Vire there. They seem to catch on that they like to use those defensemen and trying to read that to create some counterattacks. But Madalaiska has it in again. Dembski with the puck. Shot on from distance. Turned aside by Monkeyhead. Antonio now looking for, to get a shot on. Still has the puck. Rebound right out front there. But Yalkin staves off the pressure from Matalaiska. Doesn't allow him to get a stick on it. Sent all the way around there. Kadanarski here is Conker. Under siege once again, but surviving. Trying to pass up the boards there. Matalaiska gets it, but goes offside. Really good in that play right there. It looked like Matalaiska was just kind of twirling around. Uh, getting stuck on another player. I believe the puck was in between his legs. Unfortunate bounce right there. One in the neutral zone. Antonio now trying to send it over to Madalaiska, but they can't quite maintain possession. Here's Conker on the counterattack. Big hit in the neutral zone. But HV71 back in possession now. And gain the line. They do get possession. Madalaiska sent back to Rubitas. Rubitas shot on, looking for a deflection and then a rebound, but. Couldn't quite get through another block shot. Not too sure which body it hit, but didn't get to the net uh, nonetheless. And another offside here for Conker. The Hauser having trouble gaining the line against H371. We have also a prediction upgrade, uh, update, excuse me, uh, with 71% of chat in favor of Conker Gaming as opposed to H371 with 29. Uh, it was after the first goal was scored, just a note over there. But it seems like chat is really favoring Conker, even from the first game at all as well. Quick shot on from the left circle there. Swallowed up by Kofa Line. And here's Conker looking to sort of get some pressure of their own back in HV71. They do have that one goal lead, but playing with fire a little bit, allowing HV71 to continue to get all that pressure and all those shot attempts on. And HV71 got to feel like they, they, they're they due for a goal here as they try to enter the zone once again. Adelaiski there got bumped in, leading to another offside. Neutral zone draw here. You can see the passing percentage. Both of those teams very, very high up there. Much more cleaner of a game passing-wise than we saw at times in that first one. Rubitas now with it. Nice pass over to Dembski who gains the line. Stops in the corner boards to the middle. Nice shot on another opportunity for Dembski. Turned aside. Monkey head really doing his part here. Maintaining great positioning. Kaudo tried to pinch up but didn't quite keep that puck in. Vede has it. Bit of else getting another beautiful sauce attempt, and it actually will lead to a trip now. A little bit too much aggressiveness with the stick. HG71 will go to the power play. 
Another key opportunity here for HG71 to get on the board as well. It was key for them last game to get on there. And we'll see again if they can capitalize and stick to their so far record of being, I believe, one and one. Yeah, one for one today on the power play coming into today. I think sub 15 percent. So something that they definitely want to improve on. <laughs> what a player right there. Kotonarski just trying to go for a quick uh, shorthanded opportunity off of that face off play. Matalaiski gets that one in, in deep, but they'll have to pressure for it. And unable to do so is almost midway through their own power play here. They haven't really established much of an attack. Antonio now gains the line. Dembski to follow up, gets possession. We'll try to establish it now. Antonio, back to Rubitas, off balance shot. Perhaps a breakaway opportunity. The sauce pass just out of range. Well played by Kofalainen, who probably anytime he gets that animation is holding his breath just a little bit. Dembski now to Antonio. HV71 getting this set up and a missed pass right there by Kauta, perhaps looking to send it over his defensive partner and then turn. Turned a bit early and the pass goes out of the zone of their own volition and not much going on that power play for HV71, but they're back in the zone as a quick shot from Kauto gets blocked wide. Beautiful pass up. Vire has it. L skating. Trying to sauce that one, maybe even to himself. Chopped in front of the net. What and it a goes chop! In. It goes in, Vire! Buy a lottery ticket! Because the luck that you're having tonight is insane. What? He chops it towards the net right there after trying, I think, to self sauce it to himself and it bounces. Oh, goodness. Oh, Leiden. no. About oh, as unfortunate no. as, as a happening as you can get right there. He tried to, like, kneel down on the puck and it somehow knocked it in. I'm not too sure, but oof if you're HV71 and timeouts are being called. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. So I believe right there we're going to hopefully get a replay, but it bounces off of the blocker, goes straight down, and bounces off the pad, and then pounces off of his, like, his skate, and then goes in. That is the most unfortunate bounce. We'll take another replay right here, as you can tell. Hits the chop, blocker, and oh. oh we'll we'll take a look at it on the, on the intermission. Because <laughs> holy, that... it was something else. Yeah, and uh, Conquer Gaming uh, in a very, very advantageous position now. As you can see, we'll get one more look at it. We won't be able to tell much from this angle, but... <laughs> Yeah, we, we could tell Vire was excited about it. That's about it. It's what, I mean, just, it was a great chop. It was a tremendous play by Vire. He gets rewarded with a goal, which I'm sure he wasn't expecting, but he's trying to chop it out front for perhaps one of his teammates to get a stick on it. It ends up going in by itself here. And I mean, just a very fortuitous play if you're Conquer Gaming here in HV71 towards the end of the second, really in danger uh, of getting too old here in a situation where they'd want to capitalize on a momentum they got uh, from, from last week when they when they 2 0 Fediastad. And unfortunately for them, bounces aside, but again, they just haven't been able to get that offense going. Passed over there. Got Anarski looking for Yerax on a quick one time. One more chance for HV71. Demski sends it to the middle. No one home. Madalaiska gets it. Need a shot on. Need a shot. Oh, oh no. Oh no. They get a bounce of their own, but the horn sounds. HV71. What do they have to do to get rewarded in this series right now? They just have got to be feeling incredibly frustrated at this point. That was a great job of them just to get that puck to the net in milliseconds. It had to be milliseconds away from being a late goal in that one. And yeah, indeed, chat. Hockey gods definitely seeming to have picked sides in this one. We try to remain objective, but apparently the hockey gods say no, not, not not to that noise. Just a quick shot on here. Oh. It wasn't even a shot. It was just bounces. It was a sweep attempt by it looked like Kauto there. And it just was off the skate and in. I wish we could get the uh, goal light in there as well just to see when it turns green. But, oh, goodness, that is... That's a heartbreaker for HG71, a chance to have that de deficit, and it goes by the wayside. It's a game of inches. Hockey is a game of inches. And you can tell right there with a monkey head just being right in the right spot, was able to interfere with the puck just enough so that way it stays a 2-0 game. 
Here we go. Third period. HV71 need to just to tie it. They've only scored one goal in this series. Shot on from Antonio. Why not? Maybe looking for a rebound, but monkey head stick guides it to the corner boards. Uh, Conquer now back on the attack. Vida gets the puck. <laughs> uh, this game has conditioned us to fear every puck that just kind of skitters towards the goaltender. And we have a localization update uh, with my last comments of inches. In Europe, it is centimeters. It's funny because here in Canada, it's centimeters too. But I always think of inches. I wonder why. Yeah. You've been conditioned by all the... Uh, all, all, all the... Um, uh, mantras. I couldn't think of the word right there. All the, all the cliches and all the mantras. Shot on off the post right there from Kauto. Couldn't quite capitalize right there. That's what you get endo from uh, talking to Americans all the time. We we've corrupted you to the imperialist system. Oh no, I'm kind of worried. There you go. <laughs> all right, he's back. Oh Canada, but here HG71's got to be saying, oh, I don't know. Oh, Man oh, oh Sweden. Oh, Manada. oh yeah. Oh Manada. <laughs> As Antonio Manin with the puck, Madaliska, shot from distance there. HG71. I mean, I'm uh, we. <laughs> You know, we're not going to wow. apologize for getting a bit silly. This game is getting a bit silly. What a slap pass that was. Conker maintaining possession here. Poked aside. Demps, no, sorry, Ginu with the puck. And Conker looking to capitalize on some chances. Antonio couldn't quite feed that ahead. He had Madalysk up the boards. And HG71 settle this, settles his puck down a bit. Madalysk couldn't quite cut in. Ginu with possession now, and Vide has it. Trying a long saucer over to Kauto. As Endo's pointed out, they love those long saucer passes, whether it be up the ice or even across the ice right there. Always trying to stretch that game out. Dembski sent over. Kauto looking for the sh one time. Hits off his own teammate Antonio and doesn't get to the net. Great four check. But Kadonarski able to stave it off and get that puck out nonetheless. Approaching the midway point in this third. HG71 still looking for their first goal. Rubitas shot blocked. Maintains possession and keeps it in. Big job by him to keep that in. Vide could have been all alone going back the other way. Yalkin now pinching in. Beautiful passing play right there. Vide getting the chance and Kofa line and keeping it out. Counter attack now for HV71. Pass back. Rubitus with it. Over to Kauto. Kauto creeps in looking for a pass. Sends it over. What a save! Monkey head in the split. Robbing. Just absolutely robbing Madalaiska there. Empty net coming out. HV71 will be getting a power play, but Monkey Head, absolutely unreal. Down low. Dembski has it still. One time at opportunity, kept out. Power play for HV71. That was an insane sequence of events right there. Just the amount of forechecking and the amount of aggression coming out right here from HV71. And obviously the big, massive cross crease diving save by monkey head absolute larceny to keep this two nothing in their favor another power play opportunity for hv71 they're hoping it pans out better than their last one a couple ddd passes in rubitas opts not to shoot madaliska with it trying to gain that middle what a shot from kauto but no over commitment from monkey head he is dialed in right here beautiful bump by yedax and knocks that puck out Rubitas loses it on his own teammate here. And you can see the desperation coming out from HV71. Pass attempt there. Behind the net now. Interesting clear attempt. Antonio has it. Shot on. Ooh. Turned aside by Monkey Head, and he will get the cover. Wow, he is really on his game in position. He's been on fire so far tonight. Excuse me. He's just so good. He's yeah. playing so well. I'm lost for words. Rubitas shot attempt right here in a two-on-one developing for Conker, but Yerax not a lot of speed and actually go offside right there due to that. Probably a depleted stamina bar due to the penalty kill and we'll have a neutral zone faceoff, which I mean, it's got to benefit uh, Conker. Only 11, 11 seconds left on, on that power play. I think we saw some inner team chirping right there as he was slashing at his own teammate there for going offside. I think it was for shooting the puck at the end of that. <laughs> oh, maybe that too. Back to five on five. What a save again by Monkey Head. Looked like Dembski or Madaliska didn't get everything on it. Quick backhand on net from Antonio, just throwing everything on. And Monkey Head up to the task. 
Conquer in possession in their own end once again. Trying to pass the one going across the ice, no one home. But Kadonarski has it and gains the line. Probably going to look to kill a bunch of time. What a hit right there in the corner. Rubitas just lit right, up guys. Kadonarski. Another massive collision right there. Dembski that time is HP701 trying some way, something to get some momentum here. But at the end of the day, a spin play, a trip. That might spell their doom. Two minutes left, and that will be a two-minute minor penalty here. Yeah, you try to get whatever you can to get extra physical, but sometimes a little a little too much can cause the ref, uh, the ref's arm to go up in the air and get you two minutes in the box, if not more. Uh, so far, they just got two minutes to get out of this and two minutes to find a way to get through the game. It's going to be really hard for them to get them out of the situation while being down a man. Yeah, absolutely. Stamina bars, it's going to be very hard to kind of maintain that with the way the regeneration works when you're on the PK, but they have to attack. Conquer will take advantage of that and gain the line. Vire, pass over and intercepted right there by his own teammate. Ginu got the puck. Ginu now with the backhand. Beautiful pass attempt. He'll just clear that puck out. they got to try something here. Uh, a wraparound that took about 20 years to complete. Uh, kept out, unsurprisingly, by Kofalainen. Madaliska pressuring in on the attack. Can't get possession. Vida just sends it all the way around here. Last minute, real time. 2 on 1, 3 on 1 now for Conker. Pass over Kadonarski. What a save coming out from Kofalainen. Read that one like a book and got the blocker on it. Antonio Manin now over to Madaliska. You can see just by the way they're skating. Stamina bar is pretty much depleted for HV71. And Conker slap pass all the way down. Yalkin will receive it. Yalkin gets hammered. Shot on off the bar from Yedax. And not enough time left, I don't think. They need, a, they need a goal on this rush, and then a miracle here. HV71 can't gain the line. Yalkin just pokes it back. That should just about do it here. Ginu, one more chance. Vire, pass over to Yerax on the doorstep, and Dembski has it. That will do it. A shutout, a well-deserved shutout from Monkey Head, who had to stand on his Monkey Head a couple times and make some massive saves for Conquer Gaming is HV71. We're just all over them at so many points of the game, but they're the ones who capitalize on their chances. They're the ones who win both of these games. Four out of four points. What a day for Conquer Gaming. Big, absolutely. Would not say anything less than that. So far, it's been a great showing for these two teams. Great showing for this great thing as well. GG's for both teams are coming out. GG's obviously the Conquer Gaming for... You know, being outplayed in the beginning, but able to rally back with a few goals here and there. Just absolute great show plays and showmanship from both teams. Beautiful play right there to get the back into that. Yeah, I mean, that was just... I, I'm, I'm curious to see some of these end-of-the-game stats. I'm not sure if they popped up. We'll get a look at them right now, hopefully. But maybe not. I just want to see that time and attack. <laughs> really, that's kind of what I'm after. I'm not too sure <laughs> if it has popped up, but... Yeah, 12.45 for HV71. They out-time and attack them by an even 10 minutes. <clears throat> Weren't able to score a goal. Uh, a lot of shots blocked, too. I didn't see catch the... Uh, um, yeah, I think our producer is going to be able to put a screenshot for us on screen here. I didn't catch the registered shot totals. Um, but 16. It, it could have been double that by the amount of rubber that HV71 was trying to put on the net right there. And it was so many shot blocks coming out from Conquer Gaming. And... Again, Monkey had just a tremendous performance. And you can't, Kofalina did great too. He, he got, you know, some of the bit of the bad luck. That save right there was absolutely massive. I mean, it it kept his team at least in the hunt, a chance for them to try to get back into it. That one right there wasn't bad positioning, maybe a little deep as he was trying to slide over. He actually got a piece of it before it hit off the post. So credit him with a save right there. I mean, Kofalina doing his part at the end, trying to keep things close. It was just, you know, a lot of un unfortunate circumstances and unfortunate scenarios that HV71 found themselves in as we get a look at the, uh, we'll call that one the molasses wrap around from Vire right there. Is, again, it took him a, quite a, a few seconds at least to just get around the net and put that one on. But, uh, you know, that, that play off the boards was a thing of beauty from Vire. Uh, it all started with his forecheck as well. Poked it off, you know, great bit of L skating off of the boards and then passed it. Those are two guys who owe him 10 push-ups right there for the nutmegs between their legs. And it's <laughs> a, a great, a great, great performance overall from Conquer. Uh, mostly on the defensive and goaltending end of things. It's HV71 were tremendous offensively. They just couldn't find the goal scoring. And 
kind of goes back to what we talked about in the pregame and what's kind of been the fate of HV71 uh, over the course of this season so far, where they've looked good, but they haven't found the goal scoring. They found it in the last broadcast against Ferestad, but in this one, only one goal in those two games played. That's simply not going to be enough to win games here at the elite level. And that's when, at the end of the day, what you need to do here. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll throw to a quick break before we set the stage for our next matchup between Stargazing and Yippie Voskula. Four out of four points here for Conquer Gaming. We'll look forward to seeing which team gets the edge in our next matchup. Don't go. <laughs> 